my first time at Broken Yolk, so I'm really excited to see how good they are, because I usually only ever go to IHOP. You know what you're getting, babe? What did you get? The drink breadstick? Of course. You always get that. So today is going to be pretty exciting. Well, the end of the day, I guess. I have a hair appointment with my mom at 11.30, and then around 3, Sean is taking me out to like a late lunch early dinner for our anniversary. Our sixth year anniversary was just, I think. Um, How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, our sixth year anniversary was, what's today's date? The 28th? 29th? 28th. So our sixth year anniversary was three days ago. So um, since it fell on a weekday, we didn't really do much. We just went to dinner. Um, so Sean is going to be taking me to this supposedly super good sushi place. Um, I don't even know where it's at, but I think it's like up north area, like the OC. And then we're gonna go to the OC Night Market, which I'm super excited about. They always have such good food. But I just have to mentally prepare myself to wait in like an hour long line for everything. But yeah, I'm really excited. Look who finally decided to join us. <laughs> the previous one was like way harder. I would always have to text him to be like, oh. It's literally two doors down though. <laughs> I don't understand. The other one? Yeah. You go inside, make a left, make a right, and it's two doors and a right. Literally. I thought it was like three halls down. Like the, the old one? Hmm. I don't know. I never went. I only went like once every three months. So, we finally ordered our food, and it's taking forever to get here. And I'm hungry, and I want to eat. But, update. Apparently, Sean got confused with the OC Night Market and the OC Fair. Ed's staring at me. <laughs> he's like, he's like, why is she talking to her phone? Is she on FaceTime with somebody? No. <laughs> so he got confused with the OC Night Market and the OC Fair, and I guess he was gonna take me to the OC Fair, not the Night Market. So yeah, that should be fun still. I'm just saying. I can't tell them that I'm going to the OC night market and then end up at the OC fair because then they're gonna think I'm stupid. So obviously I'm gonna let them know you stupid. Oh my god, finally. They actually gave me so many crepes. Yeah. So I forgot to vlog after breakfast, but I ended up going to my mom's salon. Just got a quick trim, that's, that's about it didn't do anything special to my hair and then I stopped by Hobby Lobby since my mom works right there and oh my god I've never been to Hobby Lobby before and it's like freaking amazing they literally have everything there and it's it's just amazing I'm surprised that I didn't spend more money than I did I only spent 17 bucks I only bought two things I bought essential oil so that was the main reason why I wanted to go because my supervisor has essential oils in our area in our department and it smells so good so I asked her where she got it from because it's not like typical like peppermint or lavender or eucalyptus it's like a mixture and it's just it just smells really good and so I asked her and she said she got it from Hobby Lobby so I ended up going there and then I almost literally bought like all the essential oils that they had but each bottle was seven dollars and I mean even though we I had the forty dollar forty percent off a regular price coupon I mean like that's only for one thing so yeah I wasn't about to spend a lot of money on those so I only got one and then I got pulpery I think that's how you say it so I got that because my house smells like crap because Lilo my new dog oh my god I did not tell you guys so I got a new dog it's not the dog that I ended up fostering um, so it's it's kind of funny <laughs> so the week that I brought home my foster dog the week after I ended up adopting a dog for my work and she is a French Bulldog and it's so funny because her name her previous name was Nala too like my Nala my pitbull Nala and so I ended up changing her name to Lilo because she's a Frenchie and 
just she reminds me of Stitch, but I couldn't call her Stitch because she's a girl, so I called her Lilo. So yeah, she is supposed to have been a potty trained per her previous owner because she was an owner surrender. But this bitch always pees inside the fucking house, and it's so annoying, and I'm so tired of her shit. But I love her. Um, so we've been working on that, but because she has been having accidents inside the house, it smells like shit everywhere. Not shit, it smells like pee. And so I got potpourri, hoping that it'll mask the stench of her pee. So we'll see. But yeah, but now I am on my way to walk a dog. I got approved to be a WAG certified dog walker. I'm fancy now, I know. So I am just doing that. I was hanging out. Sean and I aren't going to dinner until like 3.30 or 4. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, so I was like, sorry, I got confused because some car was, it just drove past the stop sign and it was my turn. But yeah, I was just hanging out on the couch watching Orange is the New Black, the new season. Yes, it's amazing already. Um, but yeah, I was just doing that and then I got a notification and I've, all of the ones I have accepted, I have not gotten confirmed for. And so I honestly just saw it and I clicked right away because it was like close to my house. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll do a walk. I have nothing to do. Turns out, this is an hour walk. I don't even walk that long on a regular basis. <laughs> but I can't say no now. So yeah, I'm on my way to walk a dog for an entire hour. So that should be fun. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that's pretty much what's going on right now. Maybe I will show you guys the dog once I get there. So I'm walking this girl. She is eight months old and she's huge already. But oh my god, look at this beautiful neighborhood. They have like their own little walking trail. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's so funny because Sean and I actually came to this community last week because I wanted to look at an open house just for the hell of it because I was bored and I thought it was cute. It was like a beautiful house, dude. So Sean and I came and there's like this main gate. So like the main gate, they didn't have like the person hanging out in like the middle, like the little like gate person, even though I guess they're supposed to. And then they only had codes and I called the freaking sale agent, the listing agent, and she like didn't pick up her phone. And so Sean and I were trying to get into the community for like the longest time and then finally I just like gave up. I was like, fuck it, this lady isn't picking up her phone, like whatever, I give up. And now I'm finally in here and it is so gorgeous, dude. Like this area is beautiful. But the house that I was looking at on Zillow, I think it was like 649,000 or something like that. So yeah, definitely expensive, but I mean, makes sense. This place is beautiful. Wow, so pretty. This is such a pretty neighborhood, dude. Finally made it to Newport Beach and we have been trying to find parking for 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm literally just like camping out in this parking lot trying to see if I can see someone that leaves so I can take their spot. So we finally made it. This place is called Sun Chico. Um, I'm okay with all. Uh, can I get a Asahi? Asahi a drink? Yes. Omakase? Omakase. So it's pretty much like a chef's favorite, so you don't really choose what you want to eat. They pretty much give you, and you have to eat it as it is. So I'm really excited. But I like that um, you can tell your chef what you like and dislike before the chef starts making it to make sure that you actually do like the dish, which is really cool. But yeah, I'm super excited. This place is so cool. I just went to the bathroom and they have like the fancy Japanese toilets. Oh my god, it was amazing. See you tomorrow? So yeah, let's start this vlog. First dish of the night. I'm really excited. <laughs> Try it. Tell me how it is. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you tried the big one first? 
This is like my 10th one. It's Japanese sea urchin with wasabi on it. And it looks so pretty. Look at how it's plated. Oh my god. We got um, complimentary homemade ice cream. I got black sesame. And then Sean got green cheese. Ooh. <laughs> no, you're okay. Hey, you're fine.